Hello you guys, I'm John DeGia and from Flight Ichiomas and today we're going to work with book one and this is lesson nine, understanding. Ok? Então primeiramente eu vou ler tudo para vocês ouvirem e depois a gente vai explicar cada quadro. Here we go. Hi sweetie, what are you doing? I'm watching TV. Where's your brother? He's upstairs doing his homework. Is Max studying? No, he isn't. He's playing downstairs in the yard. Daddy, I'm going to bed. Good night, honey. Why are you walking like that? Shh, we're playing hide and seek. Why is Max sleeping? Because he's very tired. They are dancing in the living room. My mom is cleaning the house. Ok? Então, lembrando, esse aqui é o Presence Continuous, novamente, né? Quando você quer saber o que a pessoa está fazendo. What are you doing? Estou perguntando para você. What is he doing? Masculino. What is she doing? Mais de uma pessoa. What are they doing? What are the girls doing? What are the boys doing? What are you doing? And it's possible to be I'm studying. He, he, he is studying. They are studying. Yeah. Então aqui o present continuous novamente. So picture one. Hi, sweetie. What are you doing? I'm watching TV. So is the boy watching TV? Yes, he is. What is the boy doing? He is watching TV. Are you watching TV? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. What is the boy doing? He's watching TV. Yeah. Is he watching TV? Yes, he is. Picture two. Where's your brother? Lembra quando você quer saber aonde? Where? Né? Where's your brother? So he's upstairs doing his homework. Ok? Upstairs, você sobe. Downstairs. Né? Às vezes a casa tem dois andares. Às vezes os quartos estão aonde? Em cima, então. Upstairs. A cozinha talvez fique aonde? Downstairs. So he's upstairs doing his homework. Né? Cada lição terminando tem um homework né? Tem que fazer em casa So is the boy doing his homework? Yes, he is What is the boy doing? He's doing his homework Are you doing your homework? Yes, I am É isso que a gente tem que ouvir né? So is Max studying? No, he isn't. He's playing downstairs in the yard. Uh, so, is Max studying? No, he isn't. What is he doing? He is playing. Okay, where? Upstairs or downstairs? So, he's playing downstairs in the yard. Lembra, yard é a área. Tem um schoolyard, é a área em volta da escola. Backyard. A área atrás da casa, front yard, a área na frente da casa, né? front yard, backyard, yard em geral. Né? So, is Max playing downstairs in the yard? Yes, he is. So, what is Max doing? He is playing downstairs in the yard. Okay? And picture four. Daddy, I'm going to bed. Né? Bed, onde a gente dorme. Então, é o que ela vai fazer. I'm going to bed. Chegou a hora, né? Aí, good night, honey. Né? Honey, de forma carinhosa. A gente pode chamar mar... marido, mulher, criança, namorado, honey, né? So, good night, honey. So, is she going to bed? To sleep, né? Yes, she is. Ok? Então, why? Então, quando você quer saber por quê, a gente vai perguntar why. E a resposta do why é because. Você vai explicar. Oh, why are you eating three hot dogs? 
Because I'm very hungry. Yeah. Tá vendo? Why? Então ela tá andando de um jeito diferente. So why are you walking like that? Né? Que ela tá tipo na ponta do pé. Why are you walking like that? Aí ela... Shh, we are playing hide and seek. So playing. Are they playing? Yes. They are. What are they playing? They are playing hide and seek. Então hide and seek é aquele jogo tradicional que a pessoa vai e conta... E já vou eu, né? E vai para achar as outras pessoas, né? Hide, que todo mundo que faz, atrás do sofá, né? Atrás das coisas. E seek é o que a pessoa que contou vai fazer. Então, hide and seek. So, are they playing hide and seek? Yes, they are. What are they playing? They are playing hide and seek. Né? Por isso que ele está perguntando Ela está vendo ela andar daquele jeito So why are you walking like that? Aí ela Shh, We're playing hide and seek E o menino atrás do sofá ali né? Picture 6 Why is Max sleeping? Né? De repente é cedo, né? Sleeping né? Pagou Why is Max sleeping? Because he's very tired Ok? Tired, de repente... O tired, né? fazendo exercícios, né? Você não aguenta mais. You are tired, né? E às vezes, né? Os olhos estão fechando. Tired. Quando os olhos estão fechando, a gente pode falar sleepy com Y no final. Sleepy, que é essa ação. Claro, if you are sleepy, you are tired. Mas não necessariamente, if you are tired, não necessariamente sleepy. Porque de repente você está fazendo exercício e você não está fechando os olhos. Você está só tired. A pronúncia tired tired que a escrita né você vê que é, parece que é a cor red então muitas vezes as pessoas pronunciam errado tired não é red é er, er tired so is max tired yes he is so why is max sleeping because lembra sempre why because so why is max sleeping Because he's very tired. Are you very tired? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. A gente trabalhou o dia inteiro, alguma coisa, né? Picture 7. They are dancing in the living room. Né? Onde você recebe a visita. Dancing. Dancing. So, are the girls dancing? Yes, they are. Where are they dancing? In the kitchen? In the living room? Right? In the living room. But they are dancing in the living room. So what are the girls doing? Lembra-se, eu quero saber o que a pessoa está fazendo, doing. What are the girls doing? They are dancing in the living room. So are the girls dancing in the living room? Yes, they are. So what are the girls doing? They are dancing in the living room. And here, my mom is cleaning the house. Cleaning, geral, né? Passa pano, pega a vassoura, né? Eu tiro o pó, né? No geral, cleaning, né? Tá? Então, my mom is cleaning the house. Né? Normalmente, você vê isso sábado, domingo, dia todo dia, um pouquinho, né? So, is she cleaning the house? Yes, she is. What is she doing? She is cleaning the house. Is she eating a pizza? No, she isn't. Is she watching TV? No, she isn't. What is she doing? She's cleaning the house. You don't want you. Is she cleaning the house? Yes, she is. Very good. Esse foi o Understanding Lesson 9. Lembrando que tem todo o nosso áudio, nosso site flightjones.com. Um grande abraço. Tchau, tchau.